Hi everyone, Rachel Thomas, member of Parliament for Lethbridge with you talking from Ottawa, the nation's capital. Um, I've been hearing from a lot of you about the skyrocketing cost of groceries and everyday necessities and of course the struggle that comes with this for both you and your family. Uh, a new survey actually just came out that shows that almost a quarter of Canadians are buying less food simply because of the increased prices. So a quarter of Canadians. This should not be happening. This should not be happening, especially in a country that produces food that literally feeds the world. But unfortunately, we have a government that is far more focused on its own image than on the well-being of Canadians. And so this is the place we're at. The irresponsible spending of the current Liberal government is driving up the cost of living and making it incredibly difficult. The more Trudeau spends, the more things cost. So inflation is actually causing the fastest price growth for groceries in more than 40 years. After two years of warning after warning after warning from Conservative MPs and economists alike, the Trudeau government still does not have a plan to fix this inflation. They do, however, they do, however, have a plan to borrow a whole lot of money and hand out a whack load of cash, which, as you know, simply throws gasoline on the fire that's already been created. Now, what I find interesting is, if you remember the last election, Mr. Trudeau's campaign tagline was, forward for everyone. The irony of this statement actually couldn't be more obvious. I, I think about single moms in my riding, with children who they are trying to provide healthy food for. Or I think about seniors who have come into the office and talk to me about the difficulty of living on a fixed income. Or those who live with a disability who are trying to get by on a very small government stipend. If I was to ask these Canadians if they're moving forward, I don't think they would answer with a yes. Here's what we have to do. In the words of our new leader, Pierre Polyev, Instead of creating more cash, we need to create more of what cash buys. He went on to explain an example where if you have 10 loaves of bread and $10, it equals a dollar a loaf. But if you double the number of dollars to 20 and still have 10 loaves, then it just becomes $2 per loaf. In other words, more money doesn't drive cost down, more money drives cost up. So instead of doubling the money that's put into the economy, Let's actually double the product, or the bread. Instead of handing out cash, we should have a government that's interested in generating jobs, empowering Canadians, giving opportunity to grow in prosperity. We should have a government that actually puts control back in your hands. Going forward, this first week on Parliament Hill and in the weeks to come, these are the things that my Conservative colleagues and I will be fighting for. We want to make sure that Canadians can afford life. It's not a choice whether or not you put gas in your tank or heat your home or put food on your table. That's just a basic necessity. In the meantime, if you want to have your voice heard on this issue, you can join us by making it heard by emailing the Prime Minister and tell him to stop just inflation. In the time being, under our new leader, Pierre Polyev, my colleagues and I are committed to continuing the good fight. We are on our way to forming a government that will put people first by putting you back in charge of your life. This is our commitment, and onward we go.